Glyphosate. Glyphosinate. Well, these words can actually startle consumers pretty badly. If you don't have a background in agriculture and you don't understand how chemical application relates to farming, then the entire idea of spraying chemicals on a crop can seem foreign and unnatural and unnecessary. We do a terrible job of explaining to consumers how chemical application is done and how necessary it is in agriculture. I spoke to Mark Waddy, a producer in the San Joaquin Valley, and he used his Roundup Ready alfalfa to help explain to me why chemicals are a part of his job as a farmer. Here we go. This is one of the this is one of the key components in making milk. Okay, is, is alfalfa, and uh, it's it's every about here in this part of the world, this part of the San Joaquin Valley, we cut it about every 30 days. We come in and we'll cut it, and it goes in a winrow, swather yep. will cut it, put it in a winrow, it'll lay about four days, five days, and then it's come through and it's made into a bale, mm -hmm. and the bale then of course is taken to the dairy, and at that point the, uh, the it's dried down to probably about 12 to 15 percent, so when it gets mashed into that bale it won't it won't rot or mold or anything, it, it can be it can be stored for months on end, and then uh, right after it's cut and the hay is, the, the bales are removed from the field, we'll run water on it, and 30 days later we'll repeat that process. Mm. And we'll do that in March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, Sometimes in November, okay. but, for, but for sure eight different times, hmm. eight cuttings a year. That's amazing. And what, what is the crop used for? It's, uh, it's one of the key, one of the key feed components to our dairy cows. Okay. All right. And what, what does this give your cows nutritionally speaking? Well, just energy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. TDN, total, total digestible nutrients, a whole host of things. Cool. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, and does, it, does heat pick up just a little pump like that? Before? Yeah, absolutely. Where are, you, where are you shooting for here? Right in there. So right in there? Yeah. Okay, good stuff here. And I'll grab a little bit too. So this is, uh, this is also uh, what we consider uh, a genetically improved crop or genetically modified yes, crop? Yes, it is. Yes, and, it is. And what's the trait that it's got in it? This, you can spray Roundup glyphos over this and it won't kill it. Okay. And so that, and that's the only trait that's in this particular. So why is it, Mark, that a, a farmer needs to spray a chemical on their crop? Very simple. To keep the weeds out. The weeds are an invasive species and this is high quality bread, bread for, to make milk. Any weeds that get in here detracts from that quality and probably from the yields because the weeds would compete with the alfalfa. And so if you look around here, you don't see a weed anywhere. No. Nope. No, we, we only want to grow what, what we're shooting for. Right. And so with the ability to, and, and weeds are always with you, they're spread and you're once, it's not anything you get rid of and then you never, you never have it again. Mm -hmm. Every homeowner knows that even if you keep your flower beds clean the following year, you're gonna have more weeds, they just keep coming. Same thing on the farm. Mm -hmm. And so this is, the Roundup technology is a way for us to uh, control all weed species. In the absence of the Roundup technology, we can, use, we can use some chemicals, but it won't kill all of the weeds that we need. So oh. some of them, we just, they just get away from us. Right. Okay, wonderful, great explanation. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Okay.